Greetings, and welcome back to my Blast from the Past Pokemon Ruby walkthrough. So, in today's episode, we are catching some new Pokemon since we're starting out, and we only have a Trico here. We definitely need some some more new Pokemon to add to our team collection here. You know, to fight some gym leaders, it'll get hard along the road. So it's always good to have more than one Pokemon, at least three or four. So, we're gonna catch a few Pokemon here. I'm gonna hopefully try to catch this Zigzagoon, see if I can lower its HP just enough to try to catch it. It seems maybe another Absorb will take it down to low red, which is kind of where I want to be. So, hmm, not sure if that's gonna knock it. Ooh, ah, that actually knocked it out. Okay, so that was a bit too much. So I'll just have to at least lessen the, um, lessen the impact a bit. So yeah, basically we're just going to be catching new Pokemon and batting, taking on some Pokemon trainers in this episode in Route 102 and beginning our road towards the journey to becoming the Pokemon Master of Hoenn Region and the world. Well, we're limited to Hoenn Region for now, but well, we'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll catch this Wormhole here which is at level 2, but we can work its level up to... Uh, Yeah, he's gonna throw a Pokeball here. So yeah, I have to say, once again, this game just really brings me back so many years. Like, I remember, like I said, I didn't even... When I initially bought this game, Pokemon Ruby, which is the first game I got there out of Ruby and Sapphire, I didn't even know that a third generation of Pokemon existed. Like, seriously, it was actually thanks to a kid in... Well, this is going back to middle school. I had a kid in my class who had Pokemon Sapphire, and I think he was asking if he could borrow one of my games, so I let him borrow mine, and he let him borrow, let me borrow his Pokemon Sapphire. I think I let him borrow his, like, Kirby, Nightmare, and Dreamland or something. Uh, one of those games back then for Game Boy Advance. So, yeah, he let me borrow Pokemon Sapphire, and I'm um, like, wait, Pokemon for Game Boy Advance exists? And I just put it in, and I'm just, like, awesomeized, but, like, all these new Pokemon and graphics and all that, you know, like going back then, it was just like a huge change from Pokemon Crystal to third generation. And I'm like, you know, it's been, I forgot how many years, like I thought it ended at Crystal and I was like, what? They have another generation. So I'm like, oh God, I've got to check this out at GameStop. So I just quickly went over there and, and got myself a Pokemon Ruby since I definitely wanted a game for myself. And I actually, Ended up getting both games, but initially I just got Ruby. I think a month later I got Sapphire because I didn't have. I just had one Game Boy Advance, so I figured it didn't really matter if I had both. I'll just get that one. And he, my f classmates who let me borrow his Pokemon Sapphire, I figured I could just ask a friend of mine and or just like trade some of the starters from Sapphire to Ruby or something like that. So I don't know. That's what I did. So yeah, old story going back like crazy memories <laughs> like seriously all just like all the way back in seventh grade <laughs> but yeah I have like tons of fond memories of this like I remember even in, in high school I remember during lunchtime I used to get like all bored and didn't really have anybody to well didn't really have much to do so I would have Pokemon battles with a couple friends who had the game actually funny stories I didn't really know that many people had high school that played Pokemon to begin with. Actually there was no one and then I met like this guy during lunch which happened to have a Pokemon Sapphire and I'm like oh cool you have Pokemon Sapphire so you know what I have Pokemon Ruby so I should bring my game we'll have Pokemon battles sometimes so like after that we started having like Pokemon battles every day and it was it was fun I have to say like I don't know, it's just, those memories really bring some warmth to my heart, I have to say. So yeah, we're here just catching Puchiena, Zigzagoon, and a Wurmpole to uh, take along with us for the adventure and train to be strong. So, there's a ton of Pokemon I want to catch in this game. I wanted to get a main metric, so, but I guess we'll get our hands on a, um, Electric later on, too. There's a couple of Pokemon. I'm trying to remember. I remember back when I played Ruby, I had a main metric in my team when I went through the Elite Four. I wanted to try out some new Pokemon I haven't actually had the chance to uh, train for the Elite Four. 
I'm trying to remember which I used, which I didn't. I remember I had a Blaziken that I traded over from a friend's game. This was like... <laughs> I have so many adventures going to like different states and then just like playing this game all day. It's just This game was just too much fun. Like I just couldn't get my hands off of it. <laughs> Ah, so yeah, this is gonna be a while. I'm just like trying to get a little experience and just seeing if there were any other Pokemon in the wild. I believe there's actually only Zigzagoon, Poochyena, and Wurmple in the grass here. But at the time, I wasn't sure, so I was like checking if there were any others. Like, it, it had been a while since I actually um, took a look at the Pokédex and saw what's in the wild here. I don't know, I think we'll have to go forward before we end up finding anything like a Lotad or um, C-Dot. I think you find a C-Dot in this game, not Lotad. Lotad is in Pokemon Sapphire. Or I might be wrong, might be the other way around, but I remember getting a C-Dot in Pokemon Ruby. I'll have to look that over again. So yeah, we're gonna get some more Pokeballs, and 10 Pokeballs will give you a Premier Ball, so always pick in packs of 10, that's how I like to go about it. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna buy like one of each of these items. So it's good to be ready. We have a, what do you call it, forest coming up. I got the name of that forest, but there's always like a forest in every game. And full of bug type and poison type Pokemon, so you always want to have at least one antidote. So I'm gonna buy one of those. A potion, which is funny, I don't usually buy potions, but I think I'll buy some for a little self-defense purposes and all of that good stuff so we're just gonna go to the Pokemon Center here to heal up our Pokemon and we're off so onwards to Route 102 and what lies beyond so it seems the uh, guy that was doing his footprints there I didn't show you guys earlier but he was blocking the road he, he would have been blocking the road before but I never actually passed by him to know but uh, yeah so never seen didn't matter so yeah, I guess who cares. Whatever. Anyways, whoa! We have our first trainer battle here against some youngster. So bring it on! Alright, we're gonna have our first official non-rival trainer battle against youngster Calvin, who's gonna send out Zigzagoon. I thought it was gonna be youngster Joey, and I forgot if there was a youngster Joey in this game, but... Aha! So we're just going to... Hit it with some stab moves and knock it out. While well, it goes for growl, which is useless. So I'm not using physical attacks. So you're wasting your time, buddy boy. I take this thing out. It's gonna keep growling and doing nothing. So we're just gonna keep absorbing, absorb, 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 absorb. Suck all that health up. Oh, well, now it attacks. Too late. It's gonna finish it off with another absorb, and that'll be the game. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. No, <laughs> we're not at the end of the episode yet. Uh. So yeah, just some trainer battles here. It'll be a short while before we get past this route, but past this is Pretelberg City, and. Supposedly, if we didn't know that he won't challenge us yet, we would have taken on that Pokemon Gym. But we can't challenge him, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait a little bit later, as you'll see uh, shortly enough. Oh, his name is Rick, too. <laughs> well, catcher Rick. That's funny. It's funny how I never noticed that. <laughs> oh, well. It's going to pound a pound a pound on it since Absorb is not very effective, so it's just going to pound it to death. And he's going to string shot me. It's actually quite funny, if you notice in uh, Generation 6, String Shot is actually more effective since it cuts your speed in half. Which means um, your speed actually goes down two stages rather than one now, so String Shot is actually kind of a decent move. And I believe in Double Battles, it actually hits both Pokemon. I'll have to look that over again, but it certainly has become more of a handy move, I will have to say. Gonna pound it again since... yeah. Bug types. And we win our second Pokemon battle and get some more money. Not much money, but any little money helps, I guess. All that good stuff. We're gonna see if this guy wants to. Well, I guess he doesn't want to battle. 
he just watch you just gonna sneeze another wild worm pole eh why not I guess I'll knock it out some pounds a little experience doesn't hurt gonna use a string shots my trico is too fast to have its speed cut so it doesn't matter at this point I don't even think two will bring it down enough. I mean, that's a level three worm pole, so it'll probably at least need three or four. Bring it down. So yeah, just gonna absorb to get a little energy back, because why not? One HP. <laughs> not really a big deal, but hey, you never know. It might help. Another Pokemon trainer, and as you notice over there, there are two berries. Right there. See, that's what I liked about this game. They give you, like, free berries just sitting there in the corner and stuff. You just plant berries right where you left them. All that good stuff. I don't know. I used to like berry planting back in third gen. It was kind of fun finding all those berries, but I guess some of the... I'm trying to remember if you had to mix any berries in order to get others. Oh, wait, that's generation six. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, oh no, they had berry blending in this game. See, it's been so long. I remember they had like something like berry blending. Or... What was it? Poke yeah, you can make like pokey blocks. That's what they were called. Then you can use them to raise your Pokemon stats like coolness, cuteness, beauty, and those other Pokemon contest stats. That was another thing. I remember they introduced Pokemon contests in this generation. That was actually quite fun. I kind of missed those. Hmm. So level 10, alright, our Trico is getting a little bit stronger. I wonder if it's ready for its first gym match yet. Hmm. It's gonna be a little bit of a distance since we won't be able to challenge Norman yet. Our uh, dad and gym leader. So we're gonna pick some orange berries here. And what else? I think these are Pecha berries. Alright, so we got two orange and two Pecha berries. I guess we can plant those somewhere. So I'm not sure if we're ready to plant anything right now because, you know, don't want to be forgetting about the berries that we've planted. So I'm just going to take a little uh, scout here and probably consider planting later since you never know if I might need those berries for a fellow Pokemon for any reason. You know, you can use those berries as hold items too, so there's, they're also handy for that. Whoa! I just ran and she like turned around quickly. Oh god. I totally actually forgot about that. <laughs> like if you run into like other trainers, the NPCs like turn around quickly and like, haha, what are you trying to do? You're trying to run past me? She's like, no, you're not passing me. I'm like, uh, I want to try to sneak past her. Oh well, I'll just beat her six Zigoon and show her who's boss. So, yeah, nothing special going here. Just gonna knock out the Zigzagoon, get some more experience, and we're gonna have to train our Pokemon partner. So, let's probably take a little break after this episode to train some of those Pokemon before the next episode, just so they're up to shape and ready to take on some of the other trainers. Alright. So, he's gonna tackle me. I'm keeping a steady health flow with the Absorb here. Definitely a good move to keep your HP up and steady. Don't have to worry too much about going to the Pokemon Center constantly. Or about giving potions, if anything. I swear, Trico's actually not a bad Pokemon considering. Even for the, <laughs> through the beginning part of the game. Oh well, yeah, definitely. You can't just win with one Pokemon. That's why I'm catching a whole bunch of Pokemon too. I'm trying to fill up my party and make it as strong as possible. Oh, and that's another thing, folks. Don't forget to get hidden items there. Alright, well, that's a wrap, folks. So, I'm going to end today's episode a little bit early just to leave time for my question of the day, which is, which did you choose, Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire, when it initially came out in 2003? So, which was your game of choice, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or did you end up getting both? So, as for me, initially I got Pokemon Ruby as my choice, since I thought Groudon's box art was cooler than Kyogre's, so 
yeah, I, I wanted Groudon over Kyogre, so that's why I chose Pokemon Ruby. So yeah, be sure to leave a comment as to which game you chose, Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, or both. And leave that as a comment under the video, below the video there. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more on the next episode.